I got an typewriters when I bought my first one at a flea market about seven years ago for three dollars. And I brought it home and looked over it and then went online and researched a little bit and I found out that it was actually worth quite a bit of money. And then I bought more because they're quite valuable and at the time people didn't really know what they're worth. So I thought it was something that I could kind of invest in and collect. Nobody influenced me to buy my first typewriter. In fact, my mom was actually against it. She told me that typewriters were worthless and that nobody wanted them. And why would I want one in the first place? As of now, I have about 50 typewriters in my collection and all of them range from the 1880s to the 1980s. My most valuable typewriter is a World War II German typewriter, which is used on the battlefield by the Germans. And it was captured by J. L. Nelson, who was an American soldier. And he shipped it home, and unfortunately he died a few years back in a car accident with his wife. And I found this typewriter at a bid board auction at Zerms for $75. And um, if I were to sell this separate today, luckily I could get about $2,000 for it, at least. At first, my parents weren't too enthused with the uh, new hobby, but as I started to get more typewriters and they started to see the value, they thought it was something that was kind of cool. After I was collecting for a while, I decided to put a couple machines for sale that I didn't want anymore, and it turned out that people actually wanted to buy them. So now I started a business about three years ago, and it's slowly evolved into a business that's actually selling about 130 to 150 typewriters a year. The first thing you have to do before you package any typewriters is do a type test to make sure that uh, the typewriter is fully functioning and that it's ready to go to the buyer. But there, there's no sticky keys, there's no uh, keys that aren't even working. So to do that, we use a uh, sentence which uses all the keys in the uh, typewriter and it's pretty effective and it will definitely catch any issues that the typewriter has. Now that all the sticky keys are addressed, we move on to the second step of the packaging.